Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Melissa and in today's video, I'm going to be making some cheesy taco pasta. So this is actually a recipe that we found on delish.com. Here's what it looks like. I think they have a video. I think they do have a video for this. I think we saw it on Facebook. Yeah, it's up here. But I want to make it with you guys and we can taste it together at the end. And if it's good, maybe you guys can make it too. I'm going to leave the recipe linked down below in the description box so you guys can have access to the recipe. And the ingredients are one pound of ground beef. I have that right there. You also need some taco seasoning and fire roasted tomatoes. This is the one that I have. You just need a 15 ounce can. And then it calls for cheddar cheese and Monterey Jack, but I have this from Costco. This is the Mexican blend and it actually has Monterey Jack, medium cheddar, queso, quesadilla, and asadero cheese. So this should be fine. And then you also need a short grain pasta. This is the pasta that I'm using today. And then you also need an onion. I already chopped my onion right here. And then I guess salt and pepper for seasoning, or it doesn't say pepper, just salt. And then chopped fresh cilantro for garnish. I forgot to buy cilantro, so I'm just going to omit the cilantro. So to start, I have my water on the stove right there. And then I'm gonna cook in that big pan. So let's get started, you guys. I'm gonna start with the onions. I just have a little bit of oil in there. I'm just gonna cook this for a couple of minutes and then I'll add in the ground beef. I'm going to add in the ground beef. I'm going to season this with a little bit of salt. And then just cook this all the way through. The recipe also called for jalapeno, which you would put in after the onions, but I'm not going to put the jalapenos. But if you like it spicy, you can definitely add in the jalapenos. So now that the beef is cooked, I'm going to add in the taco seasoning. This is just two tablespoons. Okay, so the next step actually requires some of the pasta water. So I'm going to turn this off and wait for the noodles so I can take some of that pasta water out. So I'm just waiting for the pasta to finish cooking. It's almost done. It has two minutes and I just realized I actually like missed step one because step one is actually to just cook the pasta, reserve one cup of pasta water and then drain your noodles. So yeah, I completely skipped over step one, you guys. So. Note for you guys, if you make this, make sure you cook your pasta first. Okay, so I have my noodles already cooked and drained. I turn this back on. I'm going to add in the can of fire roasted tomatoes. And then it says to add in one fourth cup of the pasta water. I have a cup here so I'm just gonna pour in a little bit of that, one fourth. And then the cheese, this is one and a half cups of cheese. Stir this around and let the cheese melt. It smells so good, you guys. The cheese is melty. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's nice and melty. And then add the pasta and toss until combined. Add the pasta. So here's what it looks like, you guys. I'm probably gonna add more cheese like when I serve it, but that looks really good. Let's give it a try. Okay, you guys, it's time for the taste test. It smells really good. Mmm, 
Mm-hmm. This is really good. Yeah, this is really good, you guys. You should definitely give this recipe a try. And if you do, let me know how you guys like it. I'll leave the recipe linked down below in the description box. This is really good, you guys. Mm. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!